What's up? <clears throat> Let me do this real quick. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hey, everybody. What's going on? I can inbox this to nobody? Okay. Let me say this. Hey, Nick. Good morning. Gonna drop this over here real quick. Uh, hey y'all, good morning. What's up? So, uh, Bishop Jakes preached a message yesterday at Bishop Ellis's funeral, and I didn't watch the whole thing. I did. I heard about it, and I seen little clips, and I actually I downloaded the whole video and posted it. And then I'd have seen the praise break. I reposted C. Ivan's status because it's something that I have been saying. Let me tell y'all something. Bishop Jake said, Giants are leaving, dying, whatever, and being replaced with midgets. The reason why they're being replaced with midgets or, in, in essence, unqualified leadership is because the leadership before them didn't give them nothing to go by or gave them exactly what they're doing right now. I don't really, com I don't really complain when I see... <clears throat> a bunch of young people. I don't really complain when I see a bunch of young people um, that are in leadership that are dysfunctional because they got it from somewhere. Does it make sense? That makes a lot of sense to me. That makes a lot of sense. I don't necessarily get mad when I see leadership that is out here and as a whole fool, especially when I know them, you have to consider. Oh, I'm at home. I had just ch I changed my bed. All this I changed all this yesterday. Uh, I don't get mad. I really don't. I don't get mad. Um, I just find that. I find the statement that Bishop Jakes made very questionable. You hear me? I like, I, I find that statement that Bishop Jakes, thank you, Nay. I find that statement that Bishop Jakes made very questionable. When you have sons and daughters out here that are under your tutelage, right? that are under your tutelage and they have done everything almost under the sun and nothing is checked or done or said publicly. What's going on? Good morning. John Gray is one. John Gray is one. How is it that you could publicly affirm, pray for, lift him up in the public, but then he constantly does stuff in the public to make his family look bad, his church look bad, and everybody that's a part of him look bad. I, I just, I mean... I'm not even going to get stressed out about it, but it's just it's just things that roll across my head at 2, 3, 4, 5 o'clock in the morning. Good morning. What's up? And I see statuses. You know what I'm saying? Like, you got these preachers out here. Ugh. And they went bought a light, too. You know. Ooh. Good morning, good morning. Y'all, I'm serious, like, 
make it make sense to me. Oh, boy, I was like, wait a minute. Oh, that's the reflection of the light. I don't know I ain't got no boogers in my nose. Um, They just look weird, though. Oh, that's the light. Okay. I was, child, that thing scared me. I'm about to say, I'm on a camera with a book out my nose. <laughs> you said I'm lost. Why are folks offended by the statement I'm actually lost? I don't know why they're offended. I don't know. I mean, what he said was actually facts. Stefan, what he said was actually facts. Real talk. Hey, Nikita. The statement he made was facts. Giants are being replaced with midgets. I mean, whatever. But I tell you this, I tell you this, Stefan, here's something that's gonna make a lot of sense this morning. If giants are being replaced with midgets, meaning that meaning basically is stunted leadership, inadequate leadership. If that is the statement that he is making, then the problem that I have with that is what about, what about the leadership that those midgets were trained under was, was under. That's my problem that that's, that's the situation at hand because it makes no sense. It makes no sense to be sitting out here complaining about midget leadership when the midget, when the midget leadership was trained up under some so-called giant, right? So-called giant that did not do their job. Absolutely. She said, John Gary, no, John Gray. You have a many John Grays out here. You have a lot of John Grays out here. Real talk, you got a lot of John Grays out here. Um, there is, and I was, this was just brought to my attention the other day, um, there's a young man who does follow me on social media and he happens to be one of my friends. Exactly, Stefan. And uh let me let me make this statement real quick. The young man follows me and somebody sent me an inbox <clears throat> about some things that he's doing. And I'm saying to myself, and I'm going to be honest, I'm saying to myself, if you're, if you are a, a prophet, a leader or something out here, and you're out here sleeping around, um, living in hotels, living from pillar to post and all those things like that. And you preaching against homosexuality. But you are practicing homosexuality. This is a problem. Why do we preach this ignorance? Can y'all make that make sense? Why do we preach this ignorance? Now, y'all, it's early in the morning, so, you know, why do we preach this ignorance? Does that make sense? Why do you preach something that you yourself don't live? And again, um, the, the, the giants taught me you have to preach it, even though, uh, excuse me. Get your butt back in your bed. It is not time for you to get up. The Giants taught that even though you don't live it, you still got to preach it. 
which I get it, but that doesn't make sense. They trying to cover up like people ain't exactly, exactly, exactly. exactly. Good morning, good morning. What's going on, Michael? Like I'm, I'm just, I'm just there. I'm just there, right? I'm just there. Like, I'm, I'm not, I'm not giving nobody passes. Nobody's getting excuses. It's just being one hundred with life. Being one hundred with life. Okay, being one hundred with life. Uh, this is why the church is in the place that it, that it's in right now is because one generations have become wiser, um, weak minded, but very wise, weak minded and weaker to the extent of you know, can't take nothing, always doing things, whatever, um, unlearned, unholy, having a form of godliness, but ain't got no power. You know, you got so many prophets, apostles, everybody want to wear these l l l l liturgical garments and you ain't got enough power to heal a fly. You out here, you the biggest hole, you the biggest hole than it is in the streets. But you want to be somebody's apostle. You're the biggest hoe that's in the street. But you want to be out here sending out dick pics and, pics and booty pics. And, man, I know, but man, listen, this is, I'm telling you, but they had to learn somewhere. They had to learn somewhere. Half these folks I know and grew up with, half these people I knew, know, and I've grown up with. Y'all want to be somebody's apostle and you want to be somebody's somebody but you never set up under somebody to be to be trained to be a, a good son or daughter in the gospel whatever whatever um and some of y'all y'all did and this is still what, what we get. Some of y'all are wanting all these titles and stuff. And you just want a position. You just want to be important. You just want to be an apostle, a prophet in the Lord's church. Really? You said it's a lot of them down here in Carolina. Boy, don't get me started about Carolina. Canard, don't get me started about Carolina. I'm so sick of it. Like, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to tell you like this. I'm, I'm at a point, I understand the church is not for me anymore. I do understand that the church, God's church is within me. I'm not bothered or concerned about these four walls. The church is in me. I'm going to let my light shine and I'm going to do the work of the Lord wherever I may go. I'm not, this thing is like really bother me. It's like reflecting. Okay. Uh, how am I doing the work of the Lord, right? How am I doing the work of the Lord? Let's, let's make this make sense. How am I doing the work of the Lord and I want to be somebody's apostle. I want to be somebody's bishop, somebody's prophet, somebody's title. And I'm on every sexual site. I am on every sexual site. I'm in everybody's inbox, all of this stuff like that. But then I want to stand up and I want to preach somebody's gospel. I want to preach somebody's gospel. I 
I'm in I'm on I'm on every app. I'm in everybody's inbox. I didn't send around more body sexual pictures than a little bit. And I want to sit up out here and tell you what God said. No, man. Really? But do, do y'all do y'all get what I'm saying? Then the people that's in the congregation, they're looking at you like you're a joke. Well, not they're not they're not looking at you like you're a joke. You are a joke. Like, sir, ma'am. And really, really, I'm gonna tell you something. Really, it's a lot of men. It because the women they real you know they real subtle with they stuff. I didn't see what your penis looked like. I didn't see what your booty looked like. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm not talking about private. You know, I ain't talking about like stuff that's public, right? Because you you know because some some of my men go jabs. You out here putting your booty out here. Well, first of all, let's do this right here. Uh, if I've made it public, then it's public. Like there's nothing hot. There's no hiding about that, right? Like I'm not. I'm not telling you that I'm something that I'm not, or I'm not saying that I'm not something that I am. That makes sense. That that's what I was trying to say. Period. Um. Yeah. I get Bishop Jake's statement, but. I question it because this is what you've done. This is what a lot of preachers have done. And this is the result. Because they're your favorite or you just let them get by or they know how to play the part. Then they have. Then they are the midgets, right? They are the midgets. I get it. Now, I woke up on one this morning, eh? I woke up on one because, Kanad, I woke up on one this morning because I just happened to see some, you know, some family on, on the book. And then even some people that I know. And, you know, and this goes to whatever state that I live in. <clears throat> Or have lived in. If I live in the same state that you live in. And this has been a problem with me. You know, especially, you know how you grow up with family. And, <clears throat> you know, y'all, you, you know, every function, every event, y'all was baby, getting babysitted together. Y'all grew up like this, right? And then you get older and y'all live 45 minutes away or 30 minutes away. Um, and these niggas come right through your city and don't speak, don't say nothing, don't say cat, dog, fart, spit, anything. What? Oh, what now? Okay. Telling you. And half these folks is preachers. Half these folks is preachers. Babe, we, you, you know how you, how do I even, how do I even go here? How do I even go here? Babe, we did everything together when we was kids. And I mean everything, like everything, you know, everything. People come, hold on a, People come from Lakeland, Orlando, Bartow, Winter Haven, go to Clearwater. You come right through my city. Come right through my city. And they'll say, what up, cuz? What's up, family? How you doing? Passing through, just wanted to speak. I'm going to the beach. Hopefully, you know, if you if you free, come on through. Let's 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 chit chat, whatever. Period. But if I do something, but if I do something, bro, you ain't tell me. You ain't tell me. Man, it ain't right, man. I would have came. I would have got 
what? I'm, t- I'm serious. Like, I, I'm, I'm just, I'm telling you. But then they have stuff going on. They want you to celebrate them. They want you to celebrate them, acknowledge them, do all those things like that. But you don't give me the same in return. You want me to come to your function, right? You want me to come to your function. But I don't I don't get that in return. The only time I see you, my now this I'm telling you, man. The only time I see you is at funerals. The only time I see you is at a funeral. And then we stand up. That's why I said the, the ignorance. I'm telling you, if I go to somebody's funeral, if my, I'm, I'm going to say it like this. If my, hey, what's up, y'all? If my cousin died, if my cousin died and my cousins, you know, are there, which they will be there because that's, you know, they that's their parents. And somebody stand up and say, it's sad the only time we get together is at a funeral. Bruh, hey, hey, I, I promise you, I'm going to stand up. I'm going to stand up. And I'm going to say, hey, hey, don't even go there. Don't even go there. You live 45 minutes away from me. And you come through my city and you don't even speak. Y'all have functions and don't even say nothing. Inbox me. Ask me to promote their stuff. Uh Uh-uh. I promise you, I'm 36. I'm 36. It is what it is. Ain't nobody got time. Ain't nobody got time to be sitting up out here, getting the public, and then they want to talk about, oh, it's a shame we family and we don't get together. It, you, don't, you, you, don't, you don't get together because you don't get together, period. So, anywho, anywho, I just wanted to say that um, and just kind of go there. Um, yeah. What? I would ask what's y'all thoughts, but. Honestly, it is what it is. Uh, person is called separate. Oh, I, nay, I'm serious. Like all this, all this deep spiritual, all that stuff right there. You so deep and spiritual. You got the Holy Ghost and everything, but you can't speak. You so deep and spiritual. What's up? You so deep and spiritual and everything like that. But you be in the same state. You come through my city and you can't speak. You can't. You you don't know. You, you know what I'm saying? Because I, I'm, I'm serious. I'm serious. I'm serious, like, I have, a, I have a family full of number of preachers. I have a family full of preachers. And, again, let, let's go back to this thing with Bishop Jakes. Bishop Jakes said giants are dying and midges are taking their place. The reason why it is what it is is because this is what y'all have done. So 
mom and them, all the mother folks done the same thing. And then they get to funerals and complain that ain't nobody there or don't nobody come together. And then now our, the children are doing the same thing. The children are doing the same thing. So, uh, just remember this. At the next at the next family function, at the next gathering, if I decide to show up, understand this right here. I'm going to show up and I'm going to do my little rounds. You know, the people who I, to, to people who I actually speak to and talk to, I'm going to do my little rounds. What's going on? I'm out. I'm out. Period. Don't expect it. Don't expect nothing less from me because I'm going to give you what you gave. Oh, Mario, what about the love of the Lord? That's what I'm talking about. Giants have raised these midgets. Giants have raised these midgets. And y'all complain, oh, ain't no more, ain't no more leadership in the land. No, this is what you taught. This is what you taught. This is what you put out. So you can't complain that family is not what family is supposed to be when this is what you have shown and this is what you've instilled in the next generation. Hold on, Nikita said, I have observed so many ministries that were left in shambles because the leader, the leader never laid a ground for successors as if they were never going to die. And because they died, their ministries are dying. Why? Because a midget replaced a giant. Even a giant fall and die. Okay. I'm just saying, y'all, y'all make it make sense. I'm just saying, y'all make it make sense. Then here's my question. Who going to replace Bishop Jakes? Who's going to replace Bishop Jakes? Sarah? Cora? Let me let me pause real quick. Why can't his sons take the position? Oh, I forgot. Jamar is gay, or you know, maybe I don't. Oh, Jamar was caught in the park, and 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 Dexter. We don't know what Dexter doing. I don't. Don't nobody ever see Dexter. Hey, Miko, don't nobody ever see Dexter. You know, J Jamar is that outcast son. But you put more in your daughters than you do your son. You outcast your son. And this, this is, I'm not, I'm really not trying to shoot him down, Bishop Jake's down, but I'm just saying, we preaching a message, giants being replaced by midgets, but this is why. This is why. Right? This is why. I got one even better for you, Clyde. I got one even better for you. You can restore John Gray. You can restore John Gray, right? You can restore John Gray. But your son, who was also your biological son, who was caught in the park, you don't even restore him like you did John Gray. John Gray, John Gray is not your son. 
John Gray is not your son, but you have this open, you know what I'm saying? This whole open, we rebuke and we strengthen and da 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 da. Make it make sense. Make it make sense. Your son, Jamar, was in, and I'm, you know what? To, to thinking about it now, what does Jamar think about all this? Your son was caught in the park and baby, they was dragging him. They were dragging him. John Gray openly admitted and lied and you restore him publicly. Did you restore your son? Did you did you give your son the same Did you give your son the same thing? See this this is my problem with family. This is my problem with family, especially preachers. You can preach all in the public and have all these uh, friends. That's my sister. That's my sister. But you do your family like dirt. But these raggedy behind preachers, you don't care nothing. I mean, you know what I'm saying? Y'all friends and buddies. Mm -mm. So let me end on this note. Bishop Jakes preached a message and it it was it was what it was. But at the end of the day, let me just clarify some things. The reason why we have midgets is because the Giants never did a great job. The Giants never did a great job. They they did an inadequate job. They weren't fathers. They weren't mothers in the gospel. They did whatever they did because this was their church, their position. B, you're going to die one day. You're going to die one day. You have not done a good job. I don't care what your name is. You have not done a good job. And that that thing just said in my that just said in my spirit. How can we preach about giants dying and midges taking their place when we are the very example? That's that that's it right there. We are the very example of what we're preaching. We are a giant. We are a giant and we're raising so-called giants, but we're leaving everything to midgets. You preached a great message, Bishop. But are you a doer of what you preach? You are a giant in this great gospel. Uh-huh. You are a giant in this great gospel. Here you are. You're a giant in this great gospel. But at the same time, at the same time, think about this. You're a giant in this gospel, but you can raise up sons and daughters in the gospel. You have children at home who have done the same thing that your sons, your actual sons and daughters have done. You will affirm these non-blood sons and daughters, but your sons and daughters who are at home, you ostracize them and push them away. Tia, good point. The Bible says charity, the ch charity begins at home. 
then spreads abroad. You can't tell me about being a good father, a good mother, when you're a good father and mother to these illegitimate children, whether it be in the natural or spiritual, these illegitimate children that are not yours, but your kids are at home. Your children are at home pissed and mad because you didn't even take up for me. As a father, you didn't even take up for me. Sarah Jakes. Real talk. Sarah Jakes was on the poll. Sarah, Sarah Jakes was out here doing her thing. But some kind of way, they cleaned her up. And she preaching around the world. I think Jamar would have been a good successor as well for Bishop Jakes. But he didn't get the same treatment. He didn't get the same treatment as a John Gray. John Gray openly, and I'm, I'm repeating this again. John Gray openly was shamed, rebuked, drug all through the media. And then he still got up and lied. Hey, Keisha, good morning. Hey, Miss Deb. Still got up and lied. And what did you do, Bishop Jakes? You restored him. I restore you now in the name of Jesus. What? What? Man, you don't get out of here. And people think that this is about homosexuality. This is not about that. What's up, Lamondra? This is not about that. This is not about that. What what makes it bad is that you could do one thing for your for someone who is not your seed. Hey Kareem, what's going on? Thank you for the love, man. Thank you. You can do one thing for somebody who is not your blood. You can do one thing for somebody who is not your blood and your own blood. You don't, you, you have not openly restored. You have not. I'm going to do a show about that. I'm, Clyde, I'm going to do a show about that. I'm going to do a show about that because I think that needs to be talked about. I'm going to do a show about that. Yeah. I'm going to do a show about that. I'm going to do a show because it, it, it just needs to be talked about. Illegitimacy of fathers and mothers, especially in, in the church. Anyways, just want to get on here and talk. Hopefully I have a good day.